Hey guys, it's Ryan from the Backgammon 316 channel. Today I have a special review I wanted to show you guys here today. Uh, this is the the New American Standard 1995 edition in the large print wide margin from 316 Publishing, aka Steadfast Bibles. Uh, this is just in the regular black cowhide edition. There's not a lot of videos on the internet about this Bible, and I think today you guys should learn a little something about it. On the side here, it comes in this box, and it comes with a, with a little plastic wrap around it to keep it in this little single box here. It's in a 10.5 font. It's line matched, has a 1.5 inch outer margin, and 28 extra dot matrix pages in the back, which is a huge, huge plus in my opinion. 40 GSM paper, Smith Zone, Smythe Zone, Paste Down, and of course the ribbons, and it is printed and bounded in Korea. Let's take a look at it. I'm finally outside in Arizona weather, enjoying myself. So here's the Bible right here. Now some of you with a keen eye, you might notice this is the exact same layout as the Preacher's Bible from Steadfast Publishing without the, uh, the line on the side, and you would be correct. Actually, I think this is the, uh, the personal size, and then they enlarged it again uh, without the line. I think it's that type of thing, so my apologies. But either way, it's very similar. Verse-by-verse -verse format. Paragraphs are bolded, like you can see right here. And it's all black. You know, I know we all love our blue and our red highlights once in a while. But me personally, I, I just like it if it's all black. That's just me. No red letter, no blue letter, no highlights. Just, just leave it as a dark color so it's just readable throughout. As long as you could do good bolds on your, verse, on your verses and things like that, that could go a long way. It really is exactly what you see right here. It's a verse-by-verse -verse format. Uh, the margins are nice and wide. I do like them in here a lot. Actually, a while ago, I have some bookmarks in here from my reading, but I did take some notes in the Psalms when I was reading through this. Like that. It does not bleed through. It is very good. You can barely see through. The camera shows more than it should. Trust me, when you're holding it yourself, you can feel that thick paper. The highlights that I put here do not uh, come through to the other side, and I feel like I'm reading a fresh new page. So that's really nice. This is definitely a note taker's uh, dream Bible right here, just for simple notes. I think it's a little bit of a larger margin than the LSB large print wide margin as well. In the New Testament, of course, the Old Testament quotes are uh, in all caps, but there are no footnotes or references or anything in this Bible. That is the only downer, but I get it. Without all that, they can make more room. So it is what it is. Beautiful Bible. Love writing in it. Here's a little thing on the ribbons here. Black ribbon for the Old Testament. You got a yellow ribbon for your New Testament. And then my favorite part of this Bible. There's the paste down liner. Like it is. Just simple paste down. My favorite part that I have not used yet is this. 28 pages of dotted paper. This, I think, should be mandatory in all Bibles from now on because a lot of us have extra notes or outlines that we want to put in our Bibles. And Steadfast and a few other publishers, but not too many, are the only ones who really kind of make an effort to put blank pages or lined paper. Uh, Steadfast does the dotted matrix, which is not too bad. But yeah, 28 pages. I mean, just think about it. You could add all sorts of outlines and extra notes in it. It's great. And it's more than the LSB. I think the LSB was like 14 or 12 pages. This is, yeah, this is 28. That's, that's much more. So I haven't written in it yet, but I'm sure I will over time. This is kind of my main serious uh, study Bible. Like in terms of taking notes with a more accurate translation, the LSB is great, but I do notice that the NAS, it's just, 
a little more familiar to me than the LSB in terms of using just the regular word Lord instead of Yahweh in the Old Testament. But that's just personal preference. You don't need to do what I do. But yeah, the, that's the side right here. It is a little thick. It's definitely a thick Bible. It's more than an inch. Um, but this leather, this cowhide is really nice. I, I like it a lot. It's a nice rough leather. And uh, that's pretty much it. There is a, and there's some blank pages in the front here. There's no, uh, yeah, there it is. Just a regular title page right there. List of the books. And then it has a translation philosophy. Yada, yada. You've seen this a million times. Old Testament. Has the same thing for the New Testament there. And then boom, it's just the text. Great Bible. Highly recommend you take a look at it. The next Bible that I also got was a NIV uh, side column reference Bible, the full size, not the personal size, because I also like the NIV and I want to try that out as well uh, in, a large, in a large print and a wide margin. So hopefully I'll get a chance to show that to you guys as well. Hope you have an amazing day and God bless.